this is the most beautiful smell ever it keeps my hair so refreshed and so good and i was like okay it would be really cool if slip came out with a mask that was like indented on the inside like literally four months later after i told my mom this they came out with it hi guys what's up it's Bella. welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new i am going to be doing a current favorites in today's video i haven't done one of these in a good minute and I'm always buying stuff, trying out new stuff, and I love sharing it with you guys. So I've accumulated a lot of things that I'm currently in love with, and I'm excited to show you guys. As always, all these products are going to be linked down below for direct purchase if you guys are interested in getting any of them. And without further ado, let's get started into the video. I'm going to knock this one out real quick. These are the new trend of the winter. I actually just posted a winter trend slash like essentials video. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll link it down below. It's a really great video. A lot of good information on like the current fashion trends and whatnot. But these boots are definitely one of those trends. They're like big chunky Chelsea boots. These are from Steve Madden though. So they didn't break the bank. They were a good quality and I really love them and I keep wearing them a lot so I just wanted to mention these bad boys because I'm absolutely obsessed with them and I want them in the green khaki color next. So I've been using Slip for a very long time. It's like the silk brand that uh, Sephora sells and I only use their pillowcases. I only ever use their sleep like masks. I have like their hair ties. I don't know where my nose right now but I love the whole brand Slip. And I was using their eye mask for like three years and then I was like, okay, I have really long eyelashes. I'm Middle Eastern, so like my lashes, my hair, everything just like really long all the time. It's a little scary. And so my eyelashes kept getting like bent down and like they weren't as curled as they, you know, were and they just did not look as good. And I was like, okay, it would be really cool if Slip came out with a mask that was like indented on the inside. That was for people who have eyelash extensions, naturally long lashes, like anything of that nature. And boom, like literally four months later after I told my mom this, they came out with it. And I was so excited. I was like, did I manifest that? Anyways, so this is the Slip Eye Contour Mask. I think they only have it in one shade at the moment, but I love the black. But on the inside, it's actually indented and it has like two like little holes. So you literally just have great like movement with your eyelashes. You can fully open your eyes under this. And I was scared that it wouldn't have the same effect on me like with sleeping because this makes me go to sleep when I put it on. But it does. Like it has the same effect. I still feel it like around my actual eye because this is like really puffy. I would just give it a go. And if you don't like it, you can return it on Sephora. But I love this mask so much and I'm so happy that they came out with one for people who have like eyelash extensions, like long natural lashes, whatever it may be, because this is exactly what I needed. So be sure to get your hands on this. If your eyelash is being flat for any of those reasons, this is gonna be a game changer. So this year I made it a point to read more books and I have definitely read a few books that I've been really loving. I haven't been reading too many. I've only read like four or five through this year, but that's a lot for me because I don't actually like read books in my free time. But my therapist actually recommended this one to me. Yes, I go to therapy and if you guys want to know more about my mental health, check out my um, life update that I just posted. If you guys are interested in that, which you might be, so I'll link it down below. But we were kind of just talking about relationships and kind of like what I want and like how I want to attract someone and those kind of things and what I think a relationship should be like, right? And so obviously I've never been in one, so I have like this certain kind of outlook on what I've seen, what my parents have shown me, what my brother and their girlfriends have shown me. And so I have like good people to look up to, but I also have my own version in my head. I just want to be uh, knowledgeable. I guess that's all I could really like go for in that sentence. I just like to be educated in any aspect that I can be, so I took it upon myself to read this book, and it's by Dr. Laura Schlesinger. I don't know how you say her name, but it's called The Proper Care and Feeding of Husbands, and no, this is not just for people who are married. This can be literally for anyone. I'm not even talking to anyone. Like, I'm not in a relationship whatsoever, and I read this book, and I just found that my mind was like, way more open to kind of see the needs of another human being it was super cool it's basically like um a podcast as like a book and the doctor laura she asks questions and then she will kind of get the answer from a man and it's interesting to see what men think of in a relationship and how they perceive women and then how we perceive them and how we should treat them and like it's just really interesting super great book and i feel like you don't have to be married to read this but you can be married you can be divorced you can be whatever this is just a great book and it's a really quick read i just finished it and it's only like 180 pages exactly 180 pages and then i read this super quickly so I recommend taking a look at this book 
at the end of the year i'm most likely going to do a video about all the books that i've read this year and if it's not at the end of the year it'll be at the beginning of next year because i love reading now oh dry bar you have my heart fully so two items i've been absolutely loving this is the detox dry shampoo but it's not just the detox dry shampoo it has to be the lush scent this is the most beautiful smell ever it keeps my hair so refreshed and so good I've used the Moroccan dry shampoo dark tones for like the longest time, but I just noticed like it doesn't really soak up my oils as much as the dry bar one does. So this is forever like my favorite dry shampoo, but the Lush scent is just the best. It just makes your hair like smell so, just so good. Like there's like nothing I can kind of pinpoint it. Like it's not flowery. Let me, let me spray it a little. Oh yeah. I don't know, it's just perfect. Just go smell this at like Ulta or Sephora and you might fall in love. And then also I really love the Triple Sec. It's a three in one finishing spray, also in the Lush scent. And basically it adds texture, it volumizes, and it also kind of like keeps your hair like with a light hold. I always finish out my hair on top and like under with this stuff and it's so good. But I can go a week without washing my hair when I use this dry shampoo. It's the best. This combo though, chef's kiss. Of course, I had to add an apparel item. So this is the Supreme Arabic hoodie. This is from StockX, and you guys know I am Middle Eastern, so this just like spoke to me. I love it. I love representing my culture. So translated in Farsi, which is the Persian language, it's Subhan, which means hallelujah, like highest praise, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. It's called the Supreme Arabic hoodie, though, but this is definitely, you can also like read this in Farsi, but it also can be translated in Arabic as well. They're two super similar languages. Um, right now, I'm learning Arabic, which is super cool. So I love it, but yeah, super cool. And I'm gonna wear it with my Syracuse Dunk Lows. Stay tuned for the Instagram photos. I've been popping off recently on Instagram and you guys have been loving it and my Pinterest. So make sure you guys follow me over there because I love those two platforms so much. Lip combo, you guys have been asking about my current makeup routine and I am gonna get to you guys on that. Maybe I'll do that in the beginning of December or sometime around then because I do wanna show you guys an updated makeup routine. But my current lip combo, just to keep you guys on edge, a little informed before I do that video, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip Lip Liner. It is so good. It's kind of like a dark nude pink. I don't like too pink on my lips. I like a little bit of like a cool tone nude, so I really love this one. And then I just got this in my haul that I did the other day, so if you guys wanna watch that, be sure to do so. But it's the Cover Star Nude Lip. So I just dab a little bit of this on. I don't like too much lipstick on my lips. I never have. I just feel like it emphasizes the wrinkles more than it should. And so I just dab a little bit of this on and I pout out my lips with like my finger. And then I add a little bit of this Too Faced Lip Balm Lip Injection stuff. And this is really good. It just adds like a little sheen on my lips. So this is my current lip combo. I'll link it down below. It's super good. I think that it'll look good on anyone who has any type of skin tone. It's just really great. I have two perfumes that I always love during this time of the year. This one I've had like during this time of the year before, but this one I have not, but it's perfect for this time of the year. So this is the Chanel Mademoiselle. This is just the most perfect, like warm, like woody, but like flowery kind of smell. It's just so feminine and so womany. It's just a very sexy and daring scent. So I really love this. I also have a perfume collection that I've done. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll also link it down below. I don't have too many new perfumes where I could do like an updated one. But um, actually, I have six new perfumes. So I technically could do an updated one. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know. But this one is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. It's just such a great perfume. I love it. It is perfect in the way it sets on your skin after it kind of just sits there. It smells 10 times better. And this one is actually something that's new to me. It's from Huda Beauty, but it's the K. Ali uh, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. And this is a very different scent. I don't have anything that smells like this like whatsoever. This is very like, Definitely peppery. I smell like a little bit like saffron, but it's also juicy. I'm gonna spray it a little. It is a little powdery, so if you don't like that powdery scent, then I wouldn't go for it, but I'm not really a powdery person and I do really love this. I don't know, I just find it to be so different and it's so strong, like two squirts, you're good. It lasts all day and I just love how unique all of her smells are. Like I've smelled a few in store and I just love them. Last two products, this is the Rare Beauty Mascara. I don't know what the exact name of it is, but it's by Selena Gomez and I love this so much. Look at my eyes, you guys. I'm gonna come up a little bit closer. I've always had like really big eyes and this just like emphasizes them even more and I'm really obsessed with it. I actually know a few people who have been loving this mascara and it's really great. It can clump up a little, so do be careful, but that's why I always 
take this out and I do this but I love the wand because it has like a little dip in the middle so it doesn't clump up too much it really disperses the product evenly on your lashes and it really grabs each lash super obsessed with it Selena Gomez you killed it with this product I need to try other things from you because I have always been a fan of you I've been to countless concerts watching you perform your heart out and I love you and last but not least this is the Patrick Ta major brow illumination gel I love this stuff. This literally makes my eyebrows look so good. I actually already have it on right now, so I'm not going to put it on. But basically, like, after I pencil in my eyebrows just a little, because naturally I have really, like, nice and defined eyebrows, which I think the Persian gods for, because I literally don't know what I would do without, like, barely filling in my eyebrows. Like, I love just, like, barely touching them up and I'm good, because I'm not really good with eyebrows. So, I'm blessed in that sense. But I love setting them and making my, like, each hair go a certain way. So this is what the wand looks like. It really lets you get in there and just like really brush them out. Keeps my eyebrows there literally all day. Like they don't move. And it just frames my face to be like so much better with this gel. Okay, my quote of the day is, well actually this is like kind of an affirmation. But it's, I am allowed to make a big deal out of things that really feel big to me. So I feel like a lot of times like when something isn't as big as a problem or as like a feeling or whatever it may be to someone else, they kind of invalidate your feelings and kind of make you feel worthless and that like it's just like doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter in their eyes, but in your eyes it does. So express those feelings, just kind of show however you need to show it because it's going to be worth it in the end to be able to like get all those feelings out and you can make a big deal out of things that mean a lot to you because that's the unique thing about it. It might not mean something to them, but it means something to you. So take pride in the fact that it matters to you and it doesn't matter to them, if that makes any sort of sense. Just never let someone invalidate you because your feelings are different than theirs and like your opinions and your priorities are different than theirs. I love you guys so very much. Let me know what your current favorites are. And if you guys want me to bring this back in a monthly video, I will be more than happy to do so. Be sure to check out all these products down below. Love you guys so much. Happy like holiday season. Like this is just such an exciting time of the year. And I'll see you guys on my very next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Yay. Bye.